everyone a welcome to the first ever episode, sort of, of CRC Speed Show TV. I say sort of because it's not really a full show, it's a partial show. It's a teaser show to explain what the show is actually going to be all about. Yeah, there's been a few questions, you know, there's been some teaser activities as well, uh, showing up on Facebook and online and so on and so forth. What is this all about? Well, we're going to have a few things going on, aren't we? Sort of. We're going to have uh, a show really like no other. Hope fully. Um, you know, some of the things we're going to have is news and opinions as well. Most of the opinions are going to be coming from this guy, particularly around this subject. The, yeah, oh, that's the leader going through. The wake up goes through as well and crunch. Where does the Merc come in? Comes uh, in afterwards. Wait. Oh wow, that was close. Just wait. The Merc's going to nail the door. Oh, oh no. Straight in. That is fortunately a left hand drive car, so the driver on the far side from this secondary impact. Two cars losing it almost in synchronization at the top of the mountain. The Mark V8 and the Super Barn Audi, and then the agonizing rear. Oh, that's a bad noise. Okay, an opinion on that. Yes, I have one, and it's large. That sort of stuff shouldn't go on. It's ridiculous and it's unnecessary. In today's technology and motorsport and automotive industry, there should be a giant button in race control. When they see something like that happening at any racetrack around the world, they slam their hand on the button, a big yellow light comes up either on the side of the track or inside the race car, it's doable, and all the drivers know that they need to hit at least 50% of their speed because it could be them that is about to come around a blind corner and smash into someone. And we don't want that. We've had that. No, exactly. I was just about to say, actually, so many situations have happened in the past, particularly with um, Bathurst and things like that. Porter, for example, just one example, you know? Yeah, exactly. That stuff shouldn't happen again. Now, CAMS have released a very PC media release saying that they always look at advancing the way they do things on the track with either the officialdom or the marshalling. That's not good enough here. They shouldn't be PC. They should come straight out and say, this is not good enough, we need to improve and we're going to do something about it before the next race at Bathurst. That's my opinion. Good opinion too. There's going to be plenty more where that came from. Don't you worry about that. This is the king of opinions definition in the dictionary. It's his picture. You know that old chestnut. Another thing we're doing, of course, is news. You just never know what you're going to miss. One big news thing, I think, for this week has to be the Gen 2 for Formula E. Wow. Okay, Formula E, so it's electric Formula One and they are not in synergy those two, that's a good word there for electric cars, not in synergy. Formula One and Formula E seem to be having their own little sibling rivalry but I guess a lot of that is because some people still don't believe you can watch electric race cars. Would you go to watch an electric race car? I'd go for the noise and the boom boom so you're to not going to go watch electric race cars. Are they going to be boom boom and, and loud and you Well know? they have smash smash but they don't seem to have noise from an engine. That's really seems to be the fundamental problem. If there was a lot of noise coming from under the engine cover, I think people would get into it because the category is chock-a-block with top-notch race car drivers like our very own Mitch Evans. But 
He's getting left out of the media now because it's electric. Look, we just got to wait and see. The world's going to go there, and we might just have to drag ourselves along with it. So that's a little bit of the news. Now we are also going to bring you human interest stories. And for that, uh, you decided to go visit the Dirt Boys. Yeah, I love a bit of Speedway, and I didn't realise how much I loved Speedway. I went to it all the time as a kid. Sunset Speedway in Westport, where I grew up, that was a great little spot. You know, going through some tough times now, but you know, that, that, that's provincial life. But, oh, Huntley Speedway, holy heck, what a time. You missed out, mate. You absolutely missed out, because I got to catch up with an absolute legend. How many titles has this guy had? He's in demand. He's off to Australia this weekend. Talking, of course, about Michael Pickens. with success for quite some time now of course um, are you doing anything different to sort of stay ahead of the competition what, what's your focus in that respect uh, yeah we're always trying to move forward and progress and uh, always you know looking for things on the car that we can make it make better um, you know this season we've struggled a little bit just for different reasons but um, so long as you you understand why then you can move forward and that's that's um, that's that's part of it and, and that's what we're doing at the moment but um, you know, the last half of the season, including the New Zealand title tonight, um, you know, we've just got to lift our game a little bit and, and uh, sort this car up. But, um, yeah, we're making improvements, which is the main thing. You've been uh, performing at the big meetings over in the States as well. Um, how have you found all that? Yeah, it's, it's always great experience. Uh, you know, it's good for um, just seat time. You know, I mean, anything, any time you can get your butt in the seat, especially overseas, is, um, is beneficial. And it makes you a better driver, especially when you come home, because it always seems a bit more low-key when you're racing at home. So... Um, yeah, no, it's been good. I mean, Chili Bowl's tough. I mean, it's, um, it's a tough deal just to make the A main and, and, and get into that point. So, um, yeah, no, it's been great and um, I look forward to doing more racing over there in the future. Your, um, your support back home here has been pretty good as well? Yes, yeah, it's, it's always really great. You know, we have a huge following on our Facebook racing page and, um, you know, we do really do appreciate that. And, um, you know, it's great to, to um, have that following and, and give the fans something back. And, um, you know, we, we, we um, put a lot, a lot of effort into it and, and with our merchandise and that sort of thing. And, um, yeah, it's great to see it work. And, of course, jumping between midgets and sprint cars, do you have to do anything differently to drive them? Is there, you know, a, 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 is it a real mental game between the two? Yeah, sure is. You know, the, the, obviously, the aerodynamics of the two, are, well, one's got none <laughs> and one's got a lot. So, uh, yeah, there's a huge difference between the two driving styles. And um, you get to a point where, you've, once again, it comes back to seat time. And, uh, you know, you get to a point where it just becomes sort of natural, second nature. And, and uh, so, you know, get them ahead around the sprint car. And um, you're always learning if you stop learning you're going to go backwards so you, you know you're always learning and 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 it's um becoming a lot of fun for me in the sprint car now no oh, that's nice and out of all of the i guess i guess fun probably answers that but uh, out of all of the motorsport options why speedway uh something i sort of got into it at a young age and 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 um you sort of either go down one path or sorry two paths and that's either speedway or circuit racing um, speedway sort of tends to lead you more toward nascar at, at its top level and circuit racing obviously formula one um and um you know, it's it's just a, a, a route we we took, and um, I'm, I'm, it's a route I'm glad we took because I really enjoy it. Yeah, no, and you're obviously doing exceptionally well. And future plans next wee while? What's happening? Uh, so I run, uh, you know, the season out with the midget and the, and the sprint car, and and um, uh, I mean I'm always up for, for for something different in the circuit racing deal in winter when you know when we've got some downtime. But um, we've got a baby due in uh, early April, so that's uh, that's really exciting for me and my wife Dallas and. Um, next year, we, we, you know, we're looking at running the midget and the sprint car again, so uh, that's a definite, and um, anything else, who knows. You're already getting the, uh, the race clothing printed, perhaps, you know, for, for the young one on the way? Yeah, 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 yeah we're, we're, we're the wife's on top of that already, so um, <laughs> no, it's pretty exciting for us, and, and um, yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, it's a pretty um, selfish sort of sport, motorsport, you spend a lot of time doing it, and, 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 and your partner, and, and everything, you know, they put up with a lot, so... Um, Looking forward to having and having them at the track and around me um, as much as they can, and, and 
it's um, yes, yeah, it's going to be neat watching them grow up and see whether or not they're going to end up being a race car driver. Although it's, it's going to be a girl, so I'd say not. But we'll see what happens. You never know. There's plenty of girls in it. Hey, no, I appreciate your time, mate. All the very best uh, for the future and for tonight. And I appreciate your time very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, so while you were hobnobbing it in royalty down in Huntley, I had to rough it a little. So I went to the South Island to follow the Central Muscle Cars, and they went to Timaru for a 50th birthday party. Middle of last year, we thought we'd better celebrate this 50th anniversary with a bang at uh, levels. You know, we, we're only going to get one chance to do it, and the club was prepared to. Uh, Get, the, get behind the idea of uh, making a spectacle of it and doing it at all cost and getting the right people here and stuff. We heard a rumour that Central Muscle Cars might be interested in coming to the South Island because they were considering coming down to the South for their scope meeting at Christchurch. So hey, if you want to come down a weekend before, we'd, be, we'd really love to have you here. Because the whole thing really was we wanted some cars of the 60s and 70s and 80s era. And you know, people love noise of the V8s, and you know, what better class is there in New Zealand than the CMC V8s? You know, the muscle. I've been down and had a yarn to a few of the boys there and looked at the cars, and they are superb. You know, impressed. Some of them are just in pristine condition. It's a real credit to the guys, you know, the effort they put in. And uh, you know, those guys can be proud of their cars, and you know, we're delighted that they're bringing them down here and sharing it with us, and, and we thank you very much for that. The whole weekend here, just so far, you know, we've got another day tomorrow, it's buzzing, there's people here, everybody's just humming along, you know, it's just fantastic, it's, it's got a really good feel to it, and mate, you want to see the crowd on the bank, you know, they're, they're going to go wild when those muscle cars hit the track. Well this is a fantastic weekend for us, we're helping the uh, South Canterbury Car Club celebrate their 50th anniversary, so uh, Central Muscle Cars, NZ Central Muscle Cars. Uh, you know, it's a fitting era for us to be here as well. So 50 years ago, these cars would have been racing around. And uh, it's a great feel, it's a great meeting, and uh, these people have been very, very good to us. So, yeah, it's awesome. We're here for the 50 year uh, anniversary uh, birthday meeting, and um, I've been racing here for, shivers, I don't know, damn near 30 years. And I had some great successes. I seem to really go well at this track, I'm not sure why. It's a neat little track, it's very short. Um, it's got lots of constant radius corners, and it's a track that really rewards being uh, aggressive but very accurate, very accurate. And, and if you sort of cock up one corner, you'll pay for it at the next one. And it, it leads there, like, you can end up, you know, the whole lap's a mess. But if you can get on point at every corner, every apex, every power down, uh, you, you end up with a really good lap. Um, typically, although I'm still getting my head around what we're doing with our muscle car, we generally like to increase a bit of roll resistance, especially in the front for Timaru. Um, there's really a lot of long loaded corners, especially over that technical back section. And we, um, we want to really just control the roll in the car, make sure we've always got steering. Um, obviously braking, like anywhere, is really important here. And we've got a lot of change of direction as well. Um, obviously a really tight turn one and two. The car needs to be able to ride the kerb, change direction, put power down well. All the things we generally look for anywhere. Um, especially with muscle car scenario now, it's a little bit harder to get there, but we're certainly making a bit of progress. Obviously tyre tire life is going to be a huge thing for us here. Um, 1500 kilogram car, very hard on rubber. It's hot. So look, Craig, we're, we're, start, we're trying to get the car tuned up well, but it's all going to go out the window once our rear tyres start coming off the thing. So it'll be fun anyway. Well, there's uh, huge pressure. This is the uh, first time I've ever been to this track. First time I've ever turned wheels around it yesterday. Um, huge expectations on the whole group, really, to uh, put on a show and uh, put on some entertainment. But the boys that have been here before have told us, you uh, put any wheels on the dirt, um, it's not forgiving. And uh, doing a few turns yesterday, well, we can definitely see that. Um, it's uh, the pressure's on. Uh, we don't want to look uh, like a bunch of uh, amateurs out there. And uh, the crowd, well, they're, they're locals. They know when we are going to make a mistake and they know the, uh, the results of it. So here we are, Timaru, 50 years old. What a great achievement for the community. Great guys. They're, they're really enthusiastic down here. You see the trucks line up around the banking. You see the people, you see the families. Uh, great family day at Timaru. You know, they do a really good job. So uh, for me, hey, it's like coming home. I was here 35 years ago. Did a couple of rounds of the Touring Car Championship back in the day. And, uh, and now I'm here with Central Muscle Cars doing it for them. So uh, Central Muscle Cars are coming down and uh, we're putting on a bit of a show for the locals, having a lot of fun.
Pretty tight circuit though for the Mustang. Pretty tight circuit. Round the back, that wasn't here 35 years ago. I don't know what happened. They, they must have bought the farmer's paddock or something. And, uh, and so now we've got a, a nice long circuit. We've got some pretty tight stuff around the back. In fact, you, you're squeezed up in the seat there. You know, you really don't know where you're going. And, uh, but anyway, you come out of that and into a lovely hairpin where it's low gear for these old girls. Um, second out of there, down the front straight. Don't make a mistake. There's tyres everywhere down that front straight. And there's more than one gone into that. But uh, look, we, we had a pretty good race there and uh, you know, I think all our guys enjoyed it, hope the crowd enjoyed it. I was involved in the tussle with three or four other guys and yeah, we had a lot of fun. So this is Timaru, this is how it happens down here. So I was eating Huntley hot dogs while you were slumming it in the Koru Lounge. Hey, did you go during Koru Hour on in New Zealand? Yeah. Love Korowa, that old free tricky drink. Um, so obviously the name CRC Speed Show TV, CRC Speed Show is a big part of that. Um, we're all looking forward to that in a big way. Uh, you, you're like VIP membership now, you go so often. Stop it. This guy. Um, if you've never been to CRC Speed Show before, perhaps you're in a part of the country where it's quite hard to get to, you need to make an effort this year. Here is a little wee sneak peek at what went on last year. Now we would like you to be part of this show as well and we've got two ways to do that. I'll explain the first one now, that being sheds. We want to visit your shed, either myself or Dave, that could be dangerous, lock away your tools, would like to come and visit you and see what you're building or what you have built. Now you need to get in touch with us, here are the contact details, send us your shed details, what's inside it and why we should come visit you and film it and talk to you about it and if you're as worthy as Dave is then we'll make sure that we come visit you that'll be cool not just that but if you're working away on some projects at home maybe you've got a mate working away on a project or I don't know maybe you've been to something yourself oh uh, like a race meet yeah 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 maybe one that we couldn't get to or something along those lines or he was too busy at um, the pie awards or something and couldn't you know, uh, we want to see that stuff too, and we all know how good you are with your camera or your phone when you film videos 
this way and not this way. A, yeah, so he's got it. Um, so yeah, if you've been to anything, you want to send us some footage to show here on CRC Speed Show TV, we want to see it. Of course, um, it's got to be looking and sounding kind of good. Uh, it's got to be five meg max. Is five that minutes. right? Five, five minutes. Five minutes. Five, five minutes. minutes. Five, five, five megs. Uh, nah, th yeah. five minutes. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about, Bella. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So get it through to us. Here's the details. Here's how you do it. It's yeah. really, really easy. And we're also going to do a mailbag for you because we're kind like that. We have a whole lot of experts in the automotive trade. It could be what torque setting you want to do your wheel nuts to. It could be how you swap out the gear ratio in a diff. It could be what sort of tyres should I put on my 2009 Atenza station wagon. It doesn't matter what your tech question is. So we've actually got experts doing this. You're you yeah. not just providing the advice. It's not like dear Sooty. Well, you could ask some dear Sooty questions if you wanted to. I will answer them honestly and truthfully. But when it comes to the automotive industry, we do have at Speed Show a lot of experts. We'll utilize them, we might as well, that's what they are there for. So instead of trolling yourself through forums and on Facebook and all those other places where sometimes you don't get the answer, if you've got one, if you've got a serious question you wanna know the answer to, send it to us on this address and then we will go visit the right people and bring it to you on the show because you'll be quite surprised. The other people that might not know the answer that you want as well. Well, that is about it for us. That's us. He's got things to do. I, I don't know, I could quite happily stay here and do an hour long show, but that's all right. Look, we're gonna be back in a fortnight. Um, everything you've seen tonight, obviously it was a teaser, but there's gonna be that every fortnight here on CRC Speed Show TV and so much more. We're gonna be going out and about and covering all sorts of things that you possibly can't get to, highlights and stuff like that. It's gonna be great, so get in touch. Um, we'd love to know what you think of our teaser show or what you think of Sooty. More to the point. Um, yeah, back in a fortnight, 14 days. How about yeah. that? All right, let's go out watching the Leadfoot, shall we?